Hey y'all, it's Lindsay, and I wanted to show you a Trim Healthy Mama friendly pancake recipe that I have come up with. A couple of weeks ago on my Instagram, I shared a picture of some Trim Healthy Mama friendly pancakes that I had made that were super fluffy compared to other pancake recipes that I have seen floating around the internet. And the one thing that I prefer with a pancake is for it to be super light, super fluffy, and not like a crepe. So here's what I've made, some Trim Healthy Mama pancakes, and I wanna show you how I made these. To get started, we'll use egg whites, protein powder, a banana, xanthan gum, and I also needed to grab my baking powder. You'll see that in a minute. But first of all, we have got to whip these egg whites into a very stiff peak. Having a stiff peak to our egg whites is what's going to give these pancakes their structure and their loft. And the xanthan gum really does a nice job of keeping those egg whites super sturdy once I do have them at a stiff peak. Right now I am trying to build a website so that I can have all of my recipes in a printable format for you. And while I will have my measurements and instructions down in my description box for this video, know that in the future all of my recipes will be moved over to my website so that it is easier to print the recipe and just have it in your recipe binder if you choose to do that. Look at that, super stiff peaks. Next up, I'm going to be using half of my banana, which is probably about three and a half to four inches worth of this particular banana. And I'm going to mash that up using my immersion blender. I've gotten questions before about my blender. I bought mine at Walmart for $16 or so. It came with both attachments, both the whisk and this um, immersion blender attachment. And it works out really well for me. And I don't go super expensive on these because I have a tendency of burning them out and I don't wanna spend $80 on an immersion blender only to burn it out and have to replace it. And then I'm going to use my whey protein isolate. I like to get this on subscribe and save. And with this amount of banana, according to various nutrition calculators, it's about 14 grams of carbohydrates, zero grams of fat, one and a half grams of fiber, and I wanna say two grams of protein, maybe one gram of protein. But I say this because it can be sort of manipulated into falling into the fuel pull category for Trim Healthy Mama, if you follow Trim Healthy Mama. And if you wanted to use more of the banana, just call it a light E. You can still add fruit topping to these if you wanted to make like sort of a peach sauce or um, saute up some apples and cinnamon and erythritol to make into like kind of an apple topping for these. That would be pretty tasty too. Now that I've got the banana, protein powder, and baking powder all mixed up and blended together, I'm going to gently incorporate those into my egg whites. And I start slow, like just slowly incorporating that from the top down so I don't lose much volume in my egg whites. There it is, nice to peaks. Next up, we're going to go ahead and get our skillet all heated up. And I'm using MCT oil as my non-stick spray here. I only had to spray the pan one time for the entire batch of pancakes. My heat is on low, and these are going to cook very low and very, very slow. If you cook these too hot too fast, the outside of the pancakes will definitely burn, but the inside will be complete goo, and that is not good. The egg whites will burn very fast, so make sure that you are cooking it as slowly as you possibly can. I have just flipped this guy, and look. So as you can see, they're looking really nice. You really wanna give them a long time to cook on the first side. I wanna say like a good solid eight to 10 minutes. 
They should release very easily from the pan. I didn't have to respray my pan after each batch. It was perfect. And you can see the nice golden color that I got. That was after, I think that was closer to 10 minutes. And then I believe I cooked the other side for a solid five to seven minutes. These are not the fastest pancakes on the planet. So having a lot of patience for them is really key. I sped this up so that I could make it through this video without having y'all spending 30 minutes with me making pancakes, but know that it did take quite a while for me to get through this whole batch. If you have an electric griddle that you can do like 10 plus pancakes on, this process will likely be very fast for you, but I did not. But the color is gorgeous and the loft is fantastic. Very few ingredients really basic but the trick is definitely beating those egg whites to a very stiff peak so that way you keep a lot of volume to this recipe so now let's give these a taste and i don't know about y'all but i am a dipper i prefer to dip my pancakes now they do kind of have like a little bit of a like a marshmallowy texture which is, you know, obviously not normal for a pancake. But the flavor is really good. Now, as you bite into them and as they cool, they will start to deflate. So they're less fluffy than they were, but at the same time, I mean, let me see if I can focus. You know, for a pancake that literally has zero flour, I would say that's pretty good. They're a little bit chewy. And um, the banana flavor is really, really subtle. So that is my recipe for these Trim Healthy Mama pancakes. I hope that you give them a try and let me know in the comments if you do. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that. And I will see you in the next video.